Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse um uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the keys. You were up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. Read him. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Uh, holy shit, Ooh. dude. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you alright? Oh, oh. Hey, let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't wanna hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go, or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, God. No. I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Rage? Not good! Wow, that should have hurt. Betty! Where are you, Betty? <sighs> I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you got to get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I'll spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. But that also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. 
So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me? I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! We're not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life. And that's what I aim to do. Even if I gotta go through you. Not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. Your face coming. And she... Knows I'm on to her plan. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes to version top. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. She's got a way of making people tough. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way, I'm gonna die in a... Listen, let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that... Mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> It's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes. To ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again what happened in there. And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened to no, there! No! Betty! No. So. Really? Still nothing. Well, 
Unless you decide that you do have something to tell me. I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? Then I have no further use for you. Ah! Hope you're not as stubborn as that one. Are you, Betty? Yeah, I'm told that hurts. into a hospital? How long have I been out? Oh my god. How could anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? Augustine was in bluffing, huh? Well, no one here was gonna turn you in to protect themselves. We're Comish. We take care of our own. I guess I did the right thing. You imagine what that bitch would have done to me if I'd actually talked? Probably the same thing she did to everyone else in this room when you didn't. Do me a favor and um, tell everybody else that uh, I said uh, thanks for taking one for the team. Concrete the legs? It's gonna take more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? All right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. You're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. Then screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this. 
and I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only- The only way it's getting out is with the same power, I get it. Which means... We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dell. all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep! <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, no, no. Us... This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. That's... This is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not... Right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You need... go play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. Go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hello? Hey, Delson, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what am I like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. 
They don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go, sir. Just give me a second. Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. Attention. The scheduled decommission of the 520 bridge by order of the DUP will begin shortly. All vehicles and individuals are ordered to... Huh, that sounds like useful information. Delson, I got the aid workers across the DUP. Clearing the bridge. Coming back for you, so... Is you there? What's going on? Hello? Hey! Hey! You guys need any help? Oh, shit! A bioterrorist! Hey! Hey! It's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. That's that uh, pitching army, huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Check it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. Can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal bioterrorist. So... Normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We I can did. take these Look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Listen. Ah. Uh. Uh, no time to check, man. I got do- All right, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Oh, I haven't seen you before. Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Reg. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, all right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the space needle, man. You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is gonna take time. We just got here. You know what they say, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. You see it from down there? in Portland can see it. I just wanna let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. High drama at the Pacific Science Center today as an unidentified man scaled Seattle's iconic Space Needle and attached an enormous banner to its spire. And all the meaning of the flag symbol and the identity of the banner man both remain mysteries. What is clear is that Seattle's bioterrorist population 
Bannerman. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Holy what? What? Oh man, that smells good. Why didn't I take some cash off those dealers? Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, Money. Come to me. Let's bond. No! It's okay! God! You've got to calm down, all right? Just relax. You're not taking me wanna... back! I am not going back to Gordon K! No, no, no! As a little girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but... My brother Brent just grabbed our coats, and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers, and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And the withdrawal, agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... up easy enough after that but it wasn't a regular jail they trained me to shoot taught me how to kill so on the day of the crash I escaped with all those skills everything I needed to set things right Brent I promise every dealer I find I'm gonna burn your name in their chest no one else is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. <laughs> hey, Delson. Delson, you all right, brother? What happened? Oh, she did good. You did good, buddy. Come on, get up, get up. Oh, Whoa. Hey, you did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing. Nelson. Murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. She stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction, doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! When it comes to conduits, it's my call. Not yours, not ours, mine. Oh, really? So Mr. Freewheeling Badass finally wants to take on some responsibility. And for what, huh? A bioterrorist with a body count? I love you, Reds. 
Don't make me break that handsome nose of yours. Bye. Hope she kills someone's father tomorrow, or mother the day after that. You're the one that allowed that to happen. Now calm down. Yeah. Looks like the haters are getting ready for their big parade. You in? Oh, I'm in. I'm a total hater. <laughs> hey, Delson. Fire up that camera. I got something for the viewers at home. Right. Please. Please don't hurt me. Hello, America. My name is Abigail Walker, but my friends and enemies call me Fetch. Two things you should know about me. One. I'm a Pisces. Two! I've never hurt an innocent person in my life. <laughs> and that's still true. You may think I'm a monster, but it's not my fault. People who preach hatred of conduits leave us no choice. So who's really to blame here? Maybe you. Whoa! <laughs> Nice touch at the end. It just came to me. Yeah? What about the part where I put a hole through the hater? Ooh, golden age of television. Oh, man. I got all this energy now. I gotta burn it off. I mean, there's plenty of activists you out there. You wanna hook up? Activists can wait. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, know, you, you wanna go someplace where you know, our bodies don't get riddled by ballista and foreplay? Oh. Poor place for the weak. <laughs> <laughs> You know that? So you recognize me? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the one that had me dead to rights a couple weeks ago and just let me walk away? You've changed since then. You mean the smoke thing? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> I hear you've learned a new trick. You've expanded your arsenal. I, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly smoke guy. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's doing nothing for me. <laughs> oh, okay, so maybe I, you know, lied about the neon thing, but... Listen, I think I can save us both a lot of time here. I just need to leech a little power off you, that's it. You want me to just give you my power? I mean, not enough to sink bridges or anything, but enough to pull the concrete daggers out of my friends, yeah. And then after that, you will never see me again. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Did you be useless to me back in your little hubble? How about you stay here, with me? Yeah, I kinda like my idea better. Dawson! You disappoint me. No! Go down. Go down. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Whoa. 
<laughs> okay. Hey, uh, is this Delson Rowe? Yeah, who's this? Oh, uh, I am just a huge fan of your work. That tag you put on the needle. The yin-yang conflict of avian desire, right? See, I get what you're doing. The whole give power to the powerless thing, and I want to help. Okay. Well, if you want to help, you can help me find one of the escaped conduits who might be here in the Lantern District. Oh. Well, why do you want him? Or her? I just want to shake his or her hand. Okay. Well, I've heard the DUP is planning to take all the suspected conduits they've routed up and move them to this holding facility they built downtown. Convoy's supposed to come right through the Lantern District, cutting across the I-90 overpass. Okay. You happen to know if any of these people have actual powers? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, totally. Absolutely, yes. Huh. Well, thanks. Uh, I, I'm sorry, man. What would you say your name was? It's, uh, it's, it's Eugene. It's a dorky name, I know. <laughs> hey, my mom got Delson off of an old western. Eugene, those buses are long gone. Any chance you know where they went? Uh, I don't know. Radio chatters all over the place. Donna would want to get it off as fast as possible because, well, because they're butt ugly. And I guess because they just scream, attack me. I'm a suspected bioterrorist. So you want some place private to get undressed with a door that locks, place to sit while you changed. A porta potty would be perfect. You'd kill two birds with one stone. Not a great start. No! No! God, after I climbed up all this way. What? What do you think? I mean, there's a little bit of pain putting on, especially in there. Looks like somebody had some Thai food. But what do you think? Chase me. You want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase me, shoot me. Uh, shoot near me. Near me. And we'll see what happens when one of the Angels shows up. Yeah, because I've got a really good batting average with the Angels right now. If they take you, man, they take you to God yeah, knows where. I know. Okay, but look, you know how you're always losing your phone and then you grab mine and find it? Right. Right, well, we have a GPS link. So you're like a big, ugly tracking device. Okay. Right, but look, we got to make this look real, okay? Not too real, just real enough to fool the Angels. You get me? Oh, I can get you right between the eyes. No, no, just... Don't be a dick. <laughs> Not bad. Should have seen that coming. See you, big brother. You make excellent live bait. Why? Wow, it worked, didn't it? Uh, Found the angel conduit slayer. Now we go take him out. Uh, come on, you come with me or what? Uh, I'm gonna take this shit off. And I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. There's gotta be a ton of weird, spiky shit down there. And that, brother, that's all you. Oh my god. Don't walk away, mad. <laughs> It was your plan. <sighs> what? <sighs> All right, time to learn a few new tricks. Okay. 
So this is where they make angels. At school, I always tried to blend in, to fade into the background, to disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. A at first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to, to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me. But when I saw them rounding up more people who were different, I knew what she was gonna do to them, and I knew. I knew we had to stop her. Delson! Delson? Okay, that's starting to get old. It sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait. I already did. Speaking of, man, you're not going to believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. What poor thing is you got a kidnapper off the streets? Whoa, whoa, bro. Not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the street yeah. against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look, fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Just hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law and not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, that's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you? Is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on you, start calling you Augustine. <laughs> no, maybe next Halloween. Cool. So, Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit. No normals allowed? Fine. If you need me, I'll be right outside. Okay. Ellen, thank you for all your help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh wait, I you already, already did. did. I know it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> so, Eugene, my brother, what do you say? You and me, a couple conduits. We hit the town. You teach me some of those video tricks. I teach you how to pick up girls. We take our power to the people. Well, I'd like to find the Russians that were picking on the suspected conduits and kicking the shit out of them for a change. Dude, I want to party with you. It's a date then, yeah? All right. We will rise up, and we will teach them to accept us, even if it kills them. Thank God you're here, Reg. I need your help. Wait, wait, slow down. Did you say you lost all of your powers? Yes, I lost all my powers. I, I, I lost smoke. I lost neon. I never even got Listen, video. Listen, this is great. This is great news, man. What the hell is this great news? I've got a thousand dupes after me, and I've got nothing to go on. Remember, we said we were going to find a cure for you, and this is it. 
I mean, all that bioterrorist stuff, it's gone. Delsa, we can go home now. Go home? Listen, you have given it your best, all right? The tribe knows that, I know that. But it is a miracle you are even still alive. I mean, please, can't we just quit while you're ahead for once? Tell me the truth. If you were me, would you just quit and go home? Absolutely. If I were you. No. So I wait. don't care if I have to throw rocks. I am going to get Augustine. But since I'd rather avoid the whole David and Goliath throwing rocks scenario, I really need your help. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've already made up your mind, so why do you need me? Well, if I'm going to have any chance of getting any powers back, it's going to be through one of these core relays. Of course. But, damn it, Reg, I can't crack one of these things without any powers, all right? So I I don't actually need you. I, I, I need your gun. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You are not getting my gun, and that is fine. You... Jeez. But maybe I will let you have a couple of my bullets. Thanks, man. I know I'm gonna regret asking. What's new? Gene, open up, it's me! Hey, Delson! What, you move the clubhouse? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, man. Well, no, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna stick to the shadows. What? You know, stealth. Right. Stealth. If we're going to. Funny how a little indiscriminate slaughter can make the whole world seem brighter, huh? Hey, I made the world a better place. Figure I deserve a victory lap. <laughs> so, where are your friends? <laughs> nice exit. Red, you're right. They're scrambling, but no one's firing. And now they're ordering all Seattle PD out of an area near the waterfront. Must be something they don't want anybody to see. Well, hope they don't mind if I take a look. It sounds like they've carpeted the group with APCs. Stick to the rooftops. You worry too much. Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, so... What's Cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's, he's here for me. So, what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. Our best bet's the dock on the far side. It's less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke gift Thank and you. draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer a boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? Because I'm a cop. Which means I can commandeer a boat and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it. Too. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah, see you inside. Stay safe, boy. Now listen, we get out.
What? All of a sudden you don't trust me? I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. Hank! Henry, you didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. You son of a bitch! I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. Oh, lady. When my brother finds out what you did, oh, he is gonna... He's gonna what? Oh, you could have hit me! Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now, come on, get up. Come over here, I'll get those cuffs off you. This way, I'll cover you. Grenades. You have to do this the old-fashioned way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. I'll flinch. I knew Stop! Leave my brother alone, you bitch! Oh, dear God. Reggie! Nelson, look at me. You gotta let me go. No, I can do this. Listen, can we can't this. let can this, this stuff get to you two. David, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No! I'm sorry, man. You knew. You told me not to trust Tank, but I didn't listen. But I swear to you, this son of a bitch is Bitch, she killed Reggie. I didn't know. I swear to God. You didn't know. You set us up! Oh, she said she wasn't gonna hurt you! She promised she's just gonna talk! Wouldn't you believe her? Uh, she got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit. My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you! She had my daughter.
Okay, I can work with that. Even if the rest of it is still active. So, any trouble finding the place? I know all about what you did. Using Hank to set up the crash. Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters to scare the shit out of the city. All so you could swoop in and be the hero. I did what I had to to protect conduits. Protect? You hunt them down. You lock them up. And you train them to kill. I needed Abigail and Eugene to be monsters, because without monsters, the monster hunters go out of business. So that's what this is all about, huh? Job security? And you almost derailed the whole operation. Luckily, you turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. You hear them out there? They want your. And once the world sees the head of the D.U.P. saving them from the biggest bioterrorist threat of the last seven years, your death will buy my D.U.P. at least 20 more years of funding. I'm so glad we met when we did. <laughs> Don't be. Oh. oh no. Are you gonna kill me now? You're goddamn right I am. You want my power? You got it. Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. And the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together, we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one, but they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K. Seven years, I've kept them safe. Me. I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. You turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who's the savior? And who's the monster? 
This is what you wanted. You win. We both have the same power. Only difference is, I've had seven years to practice. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Augustine had come to Seattle with a plan to spread fear, panic, chaos, make herself out to be a hero. Her plan was soon shattered by monsters she had made. Fetch, Eugene, and me. For two weeks, Augustine had controlled Seattle. Now it was our turn. Who the hell was gonna stop us? Oh, and the hundreds of conduits Augustine had locked away at Curtin K Station? I'm gonna shake each and every one of their hands on their way out the door. So many different powers, all in one place. <laughs> I'll be the kid in the candy store. But first, I had a promise to take care of. Hey, Akomish Nation! Local heroes back home. There's my girl. Whoa, 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 slow down. What? Come back to save the day. The TV news showed everything. It showed everything. Okay, look, about I the... saw you kill dozens of innocent people. What did you want me to do? Okay, I wasn't gonna let anybody or anything stop me from getting back to you to, to save everybody. We're Akomish. We take care of our own, right? Hey, hey, take it easy. You have disgraced our people. You have disgraced our ancestors. And you have disgraced the memory of your brother. You are a Comish no longer. You, everybody else, will die without me. Or have you forgotten that? We haven't forgotten. And we will never forget. But... <laughs> 